What if I tell you that you can catch fish for dinner right in your own backyard? And if I tell you that those fish were helping in growing the veggies for the rest of your dinner, would you believe me? You should. This is all possible using a new style of gardening called aquaponics. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. What is aquaponics and how does it work? These questions are going to be answered in this video. Stick around till the end, I will give you some tips on aquaponics. Before we begin, I want to thank you for watching my video and to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook and on my Instagram page as inspire me. Thank you. Now let's get started by answering the question, what is aquaponics? Aquaponics draws its name from two of its subsystems. Aquaculture, which is fish farming and hydroponics, which is soilless plant production. So basically aquaponics is the method of growing plants in water and using this as a habitat for fish too. By growing plants and raising fish in aquaponics, you are taking advantage of the best of hydroponics and aquaculture. In hydroponics, you are growing plants in water, but you need to add nutrients, which is not organic. In aquaculture, there are toxic nutrients accumulated from the fish, the fish food and the fish waste, and the water needs to be flushed out and replaced with a clean supply. However, both of these problems are solved in a mutually beneficial way in aquaponics. Water is saved from the continuous cycling of the fish to the plant, and back to the fish again. The plants use up the toxic nutrients and makes the water safe for the fish again. Now that you know what is aquaponics, you need to understand how the process works. The main process in aquaponics to make the system works is the nitrogen cycle. As we said earlier, the plants in the system cleans the water and make it safe for the fish again. The nitrogen cycle makes this all possible. Now let's talk about the nitrogen cycle. So this is the nitrogen cycle. The waste product of the fish as well as decomposing fish food and fish waste produces ammonia. When ammonia is in high concentration, it becomes toxic to the fish. In an aquaponic system, there is a nitrifying bacteria known as nitrosomona. These bacteria form natu naturally and are extremely beneficial as they convert the ammonia to nitrite. Unfortunately, nitrite is even more toxic to the fish than ammonia. Luckily, there is another class of bacteria called nitrobacteria. Nitrobacteria will convert the nitrite into nitrate.
The nitrate are a great source of nutrients for the plants and then the plant will send back fresh water to the fish. In summary, the nitrogen cycle is extremely important as it converts toxic waste products into less toxic nutrients that the plant can use. Now let me tell you what are the advantages of aquaponics. The plants in aquaponics grow two to three times faster and bigger. You can produce vegetables all year round. The plants require less space to grow than in soil. In aquaponics, you use 90 to 95% less water. There are no weedings in aquaponics. The life of the plants is prolonged. It requires less labor time. The biggest advantage of aquaponics is that it is 100% organic, unlike in soil planting and hydroponics. This is a lecture from my aquaponics system. I just got it today for dinner. Yes, unfortunately, growing veggies using an aquaponics system has also some weakness. First, there is a huge initial setup cost. Secondly, the farmer should have a good knowledge of fish, bacteria and plant production to be successful. Small mistakes can be catastrophic to the whole system if the farmer is not knowledgeable. As promised, here's a tip for you. Start small. If you don't have much experience in aquaponics, you, you, be, you better start small with a small system and expand the system as your experience progresses. In the next video, I will talk about the different components in an aquaponics system. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.